My buddy Ian Chang did that. I saw him do it. He does three sticks like he would do it. Even just starting, I mean, starting with other people's stuff, starting with an idea that you've heard. Um, I'm not a huge Beatles fan. I just yeah. keep referencing that for some reason today. But here, here come old Flat Top is the first lyric of yeah. Come Together. Well, that's a Chuck Berry lyric. Mm -hmm. He started with Chuck Berry, and then he became John Lennon. <laughs> like, yeah. and, that, and then it's, that happens. That every that's everything I've ever done. I is, was listening to Pet Sounds earlier while yeah. I was working oh. on vinyl, and and that's kind of the same thing with that album. Is it's you yeah. can hear those references, and that's why I always point people to music and the history of music because you can, I can point to it and go, actually, yep. Like let's let's. Flip back, you know, kind of when you're reading to your kids and go, actually, don't you remember five pages ago that happened? I can tell you, you know? I mean, I tell you every single Mute Math song I could actually go through, I could be like, um, The Nerve, I was trying to be James Brown, there was a time. Uh, progress. It, it was a sample from a, a, a DJ Shadow did a thing, it was an Earl Palmer, David Axelrod, you know. For every like you know, for for clipping, I saw Questlove did. Uh, Questlove did, you know, you got me, uh, and he did two sticks. You know, he did it like this. You know? What I did was I, I I started hitting the rim with it. The I, rim. I, I spread it out a little bit. My buddy Ian Chang did that. I saw him do. He does three sticks like he would do it. But my my innovation of it was to hit the rim, and I and I and I was it was David Garibaldi mm -hmm. who had there's this Tower of Power live record, and the, they just they just gave him four bars, and I remember they go David Garibaldi, they shout his name, and, he, and then all he does is he goes. You know, I was like, that was his drum break. That's yeah. what he, and I love that. I'm a sucker for whenever you give somebody like, here's your moment. And then they're like, I'll do a few notes. Yeah. Instead of, <laughs> instead of right. And that saying that James Brown song, there was a time. There's a there's a moment where that tension, it's it's live in tune and on time. 1968 is the record. James Brown live in Dallas. And the the whole thing ramps up. I think it's two drummers. The whole thing ramps up and it's he screams and then the whole thing breaks. And I don't know where where maybe the rest of us would go. Right. Like that. He just says this, but It's so good. To me, it takes it takes more cojones to sit there in that moment and let it breathe and let everyone expect you to do that and then go, oh, yeah. just a couple notes mm -hmm. and back into it. To me, that takes a certain, you know, gumption. So.